Okay, this is a uh, short little tutorial for Marco uh, specifically, but maybe others could get uh, some information. So, wanted to know how to attach uh, an object to an avatar, and uh, I used that effect in uh, how they uh, say they saved Hitler's brain uh, horse there, and then the uh, same horse was used in the Harry P and Seriously Black short I did a while back. So uh, let's take a look at uh, simply how we do it. It's easy once you know, and there are probably a couple of ways to do this effect. I chose to attach an object. I used the uh, ball uh, 003, which is uh, like an orange slice. And I took that object, I uh, gave it a color, and I uh, also uh, attached a, uh, gave it a glow, used uh, one of the glow uh, image maps. Uh, so, and of course that can be animated, and you can uh, change that in the course of the animation if you want the eye to glow at certain points. Uh, of course, gave it a color. Uh, and uh, of course, once you have attached this, you can uh, create a blink effect by turning it on or off. That can be animated as well. Now the horse's eye, I don't think, blinks. I haven't really looked close enough at the horse object to know. Uh, but I've resized that uh, circle, orange slice we'll call it, and uh, now all you do is uh, position that uh, onto the avatar, and uh, for fine movements you'll probably want to go up and use uh, these adjustments to get the eye in position uh, like you want it. And once you've got it, then uh, all you need to do is to go down and either link that object to your avatar or attach. I used attach in this case and I pick the head and notice the head lights up and it says the uh, biped head has been uh, now is the parent for this object and uh, if we hit the animation key we'll notice that it does track and we can position it I think a little better there but we can now track with the object. So uh, that's uh, simply all you need to do uh, to attach uh, for something like this. Of course, the other way, you could uh, load the image map of the horse into your favorite paint program and modify it and uh, create an image map and then maybe create a glow map to use with the horse. And uh, you might be able to get an interesting effect that way requires a little different skill set, but uh, you could certainly do that if you have a nice paint program. I'm using Photoshop here. It would work very nicely to do that. 